Hey everyone, welcome back to Hakuoki! I'm so glad you guys are here. Uh, what has happened since we last left off? Pretty much everything has started to really fall into place. Um, and our twin brothers being a total dick all the time. And we are fleeing while the Shinsengumi is falling apart around us. And uh, our boyfriend Soji Okita has just kind of been worse and worse. Like all the things are just being laid on him. And from what I'm starting to read from a lot of the comments I've been getting, it's not going to get any better. <laughs> it's not going to get better. It's going to be really depressing. So, when and if that happens, I'm going to blame all of you. No, I have no one to blame but myself. That's what I get for falling in with the bad boys. I should have, I should have just, I should have just not done that maybe. I don't know. Ready for the tears, the crying? Ugh, I don't know if I could do this. I mean, I couldn't even handle it. Eno's gone. Eno died off screen. We weren't even there for it. Uh, and that one still wrecks me. I wonder if terrible things are going to happen to uh, Shido and I'm just going to be forever like, I miss Eno. Eno was so cool, though. He was like the only guy who knew what was going on. So, we left Ito on the trail of the Shinsengumi. That's right, that's what we're doing. We're following the Shinsengumi because we don't really know where they went. And so, we've been kind of being hospitalized for the last months, a lot of months. And so now we're gonna go find the Shinsengumi again. So they joined forces with Denshu Company and were headed for Nico. That's scary because we're used to being kind of on our own, like lone wolves, but also being in a high position of power so it is kind of like the best of all worlds where we have full jurisdiction over ourselves, but also um, like in control of a lot of things. So yeah, we're, this is bad. This is very bad. Denshu Company was an elite unit made up of men from the Shogunate army who'd been trained in Western weapons and warfare. They've got guns. That's basically what that says. Okita and I slept deep in the forest during the day and only traveled at night after the sun had set. On one particular day, we found ourselves resting some distance from the main road. You know, I'm actually not sure what they mean by Western weapons now that I think about it. Because Western weapons for me is the West Hemisphere, which is like America's or even uh, for them it could be Europe. But what if East Western means China? Because China's to the west. Well, every like map-wise, everything's to the west of Japan on an atlas. But if you change your thinking, everything's to the west of wherever you are, because we're on a globe. It goes in a circle. I don't know. Western weapons. Western weapons. I don't know. They went that way. <laughs> Big soldier. Soldier number one. Very helpful. A whistle echoed through the forest. The Imperial Army had found us, and the sun was still a long time from setting. Oh. That's bad. So long as it was light out, Okita and I couldn't move as quickly or smoothly as we would have liked. But at least we still look great. And Okita cut his hair, and it looks fabulous. It looks just, just great. <sighs> I don't think we can lose him. We're gonna have to fight. He's like, I'm ready to fight. I've been waiting a long time to fight. He looked over at me and grinned as he pulled his sword from his scabbard. Could you go hide somewhere? I can take care of this. A year ago, I would have simply nodded and gone to hide. Nope. I'm gonna fight too. Jerk. Drew my Kodachi as I spoke, and I saw Okita's eyes widen. This time, it was my turn to smile. They are demons. I think I should be able to help. They're human. I'm a demon. I'm just gonna go take it to them. Even during the day I was still a demon, I didn't want to make him suffer alone. Another whistle sounded, this one much closer. I found him! They're over here! Within moments we were surrounded. Alright dude, let's do this. Let's fight! Fighting in the sunlight was hard, I felt dizzy, and my body was sluggish and unresponsive. But I told myself that Okita was suffering just like I was, and pushed on. <laughs> oh snap! Ha! You guys can't hold a candle to me! One by one, the Imperial soldiers fell beneath his blade. Stand your guard! Stand your ground, man! Fire! At his command, gunshots echoed through the forest. I felt several bullets whistle past me, but one hit my leg. Oh no! Ow! 
My leg, blood splattered out from the wound staining the ground beneath me. I'd barely even realized what had happened when the pain hit me. Ah! That is my leg that is being bulleted right now! Even as I screamed, my wound was closing. I don't know if that's a good thing, because that's like still like bullet in there and I don't... Ugh, ugh. I would be fine. I couldn't let Oki to worry about me. With sword in hand, I leapt forward. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Get him, Chizuru! Slashed my blade across his arm. With a cry, he dropped his gun. One less soldier. You! 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 You in my arm! Perhaps killing someone had left me stunned, but I didn't even notice the second man until he was only feet away. His gun aimed squarely at my chest. Suddenly, Okido was there, his sword flashing in the sunlight, and the bullet that had been meant for me flew off harmlessly into the forest. The man collapsed without a sound. Could you not run in front like that? I'll, uh, worry less if you stay behind me, yeah? Alright, alright. His words were curt, but I could hear the kindness behind them. If I give you orders, can you follow them? His eyes met mine. <laughs> no, I don't follow anyone's orders. Now that I'm a demon, I do what I want. I want you to back me up. You don't have to kill anyone. Even as bullets tore through the air, his first thought was to protect me. Okido was an amazing warrior, and he was easily the superior of any of the soldiers that we were fighting. But he was still far weaker than he would be at night. I... Uh, I want to... Under the sun's light, he would never be at his best. I wanted to make up for that. Just aim for their weapons. Your sword won't cut as well if it's covered in blood and guts. Alright. Cool. In the middle of the fight, he'd understood what I wanted with, uh, and considered my feelings. I smiled and felt a little stronger. Aw, the bullets didn't let up, but we fought side by side and pushed ahead. He's thinking for me. That guy's actually thinking for once. Aw, I'm kind of proud of him. We both took several hits, but our wounds healed almost instantly. These poor guys. <laughs> These soldiers are working so damn hard. And they're just like, oops. You uh, are you furies? Are you guys furies from that Shinsengumi thing? I could see disgust in his eyes. But from what he'd said, they knew of the existence of furies. You've heard of us? I'm surprised. Guess ordering our men to keep their mouths shut wasn't enough. His tone was casual, but I could see his jaw tighten as he spoke. Prepare the silver bullets! Ah, shit. That's bad. Okida. We could shrug off normal bullet wounds easily enough, but if they were if we were hit by silver bullets. Stay behind me. His words left no room for argument, and he set to work immediately, killing as many men as he could reach. Even so, we found ourselves surrounded by nearly 30 men. Things were looking bad when suddenly. That Oh, good, the captain is all mad. Yeah, what is this? With a deadly hiss, black blades appeared out of nowhere flying through the air to slam into the enemy soldiers. Let's go, I'm here to help. I recognize that voice. <gasps> Who are you, another Shinsengumi? Yamazaki's eyes didn't waver from Okida and myself. I'll take the rear, go! Ah, oh, Yamazaki's here. Before he'd even finished speaking, Okida was on the move. I followed one step behind. The Imperial soldiers had been thrown into disarray by Yamazaki's appearance, but their confusion wouldn't last. This was our only chance to escape. Don't let them get away! Fire! Fire! His men shook themselves and raised their guns. Shuriken flew from Yamazaki's fingers, because he's a ninja. I heard the wet thunk of each one striking flesh, followed by the screams of his targets. With Okita's sword and Yamazaki's help, we could break through. We could escape! Uh, we'd nearly made it when Yamazaki cried out and stumbled. He'd been shot. Oh no! Don't stop running! Go! I swallowed and did as he said. We ran on deep into the forest, and eventually the cries of the Imperial soldiers faded and were gone. <sighs> the sunlight that pierced the canopy had turned red by the time we slowed and stopped. Are you sure you can keep this up, Yamazaki? You're shot! This is getting a little reckless, even for you! Okita's face was grim and drawn, not just with the pain of sunlight and the strain of running. You'd rather I'd stopped? They would have killed me. He spoke through gritted teeth, his hands clamped around his wound. I didn't want to die, so I kept running. Sorry if you're disappointed. 
The bullet had hit him in the side, and although it was clearly painful, he was not he was fortunate not to have been shot in the leg. A leg wound would have slowed him down even more, and he likely would never have escaped. Lucky, lucky shot. I bound Yamazaki's injury in silence, and only when the bleeding seemed to have stopped did I finally speak. Why were you here? It didn't seem quite right to press him for information when he was wounded, but the question had been eating at me since we, he'd first appeared. He was silent for several moments before he had finally spoke. After we split up at Kofu, I joined up with the main body of the Shinsengumi and followed Hijikata north. A little while ago, he sent men down here to try and get an idea of what the Imperial Army was up to. And that's when you found us? He hesitated. Actually, I, I found you a couple days ago. Oh? I blinked. I knew you'd come looking for the Shinsengumi eventually. His voice was calm, matter of fact. I wasn't sure, but... You've heard about Kondo, haven't you? Yeah, we have. Then I'll be honest. I didn't show myself because I'm not sure I want you and Hijikata meeting each other. Because I might kill him? Yamazaki said nothing. I didn't want to make contact, but I couldn't exactly forget I'd seen you either, so I followed you for a couple days. Yamazaki is diligent. He is good at what he does. You were spying on us? Yeah, ninja, it's what I do. Kinda part of the whole thing. Subterfuge, it's what I do. They glared at one another for a few moments before Okita looked away. <sighs> I can't believe I didn't notice you. I hadn't noticed him either, of course, but Okita looked significantly more put out. Then that just goes to show how much of a toll this journey has taken on you. Yeah, it might be right. Okita shrugged. Some of the tightness in his face melted away and he smiled. Well, you don't need to apologize or anything. It's my fault for not s uh, smelling you out. And you did save our lives. Yamazaki looked stunned. It took him only a moment to recover his composure, but when he spoke there was a different tone to his voice. You've changed. A lot. Kind of a backhanded compliment, isn't it? I, yeah, Soji actually just, like, thanked Yamazaki for spying and being there when we needed him and yeah he's not usually that humble of a guy their eyes were smiling and the tension of, for a f of a few minutes before was gone soji's eyes are smiling really really things felt right again or at least the best for us so what are you going to do when you see hijikata i haven't figured that out yet maybe i'll kill him or maybe he'll kill me honestly i don't know Yamazaki looked at Okita for a long moment, his eyes searching for something. The Shinsengumi is at Utsunomiya Castle. His gaze was level. Look out for Hijikata, alright? Okita said nothing. What about you? Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's me. What about you? I think I'm gonna rest here for a little bit. All this talking made me tired. He closed his eyes. Tell Hijikata that I'm going to be a little late, but I'll join him soon. That poor guy. Having just a tough, tough week for him. We said our goodbyes to Yamazaki and made our way to Utsunomiya Castle. By, staying to the, uh, by sticking to the forest, we managed to avoid any further patrols and soon found ourselves just outside the castle town. Just as Yamazaki had said, it was clearly occupied by the Shinsengumi and soldiers from the former Shogunate. All right, let's go. He stepped forward to the town, toward the town. Okita, he might fight Hijikata, and Hijikata might die. Or perhaps Okita himself would die. I didn't want to see either of those things come to pass. I felt as if I had to say something, but I didn't know what. Are you really going... The words felt childish even as I said them. Do you really have to do this? I knew I was acting like a fool, but I had to stop him. Well, we didn't come to Utsunomiya for fun, did we? His mouth had twisted up into a wry smirk. If you don't want to go, you can wait here, I don't mind. He turned to walk away. Wait! No! <sighs> Can't give up. 
I can support Okita. Tell him, don't die. But that also seems like I don't have much faith in him. I could put more faith in Okita, but also question his judgment by saying don't kill him. Hmm. 